Hello everyone, this is Saf. After I posted videos that I made with BSTC, many of you were asking me to make videos how I'm creating those effects. So I decided to make tutorial videos for all of you. This is my first time I'm making any tutorial videos, so let's get started. So the first step, we open the software. Now to create a new project, you can click on this option like blank project or you can click new project from the menu. So we created a project. You can give the name in the beginning or you can rename the project when you save it. Now we will add the image or video, whatever you want to add. Now image is added but the problem is the left and right side of the image shows the black bar. Definitely we want to avoid it. So I will do auto cropping. So now it covers the whole area of the scene. Now to add the zoom effect, click on the image or video, go to video effect, transform and go to zoom. You can add the effect from beginning or the end it's up to you uh, just to show you they have these many options zoom effect is added now the initial value of the zoom is 100% if you want to zoom in you will increase the value like I want up to 300 I made 200 to 300 you can change the center point wherever you want to zoom in like I want to zoom in on the face of the kid now let's see how it looked like as you see it's a sudden change from 100 to 300 value now to do slow change like zoom in that you call it from 100 to any other value like 300 400 click on the zoom effect go to the levels for the zoom effect values in front of the levels you will see a straight line straight line means you can add one point if you want to add two points then you have to click once and it will turn into an angled line or inclined line you can now change the values initial value if you want to zoom in initial value should be 100 and the second value you can put any value more than 100 so I will put the values from 100 to 300 now let's see how it will look like now you see it's zooming in slowly now and the question of the VSDC user was how I can zoom in and zoom out smoothly to do this with a free version we have to use this technique that we will use the same zoom with inclined line but we apply two zooms one will go from 100 to 300 and the other will be 300 to 100 so for that we will add another zoom you can add the zoom again from transform and clicking the zoom or you can simply copy and paste the same zoom effect we have definitely you can use shortcut keys for copy and paste that is control c for copy and control v for the paste now the first zoom as we know is 100 to 300 but the second zoom we want from 300 to 100 so we will change the values 300 semicolon 100 okay now let's play now you see it's going to 300 and coming back to 100 this is with the free version if you have a pro version then you don't have to add two mm, different zoom effects you can do it with a single zoom effect to do that let's uh, add a totally new zoom effect I will remove that go back to transform zoom and add a zoom effect now wherever you want to place zoom effect place there go to the same inclined line and in pro version when you click this inclined line one more time it will turn into a multi-point line that means you can add uh, different points now you have to click these three dots right next to that uh, curve and this small window on the bottom of uh, preview window will open in this window you can see our line has a two points initial point if you click on that to see the value it is 300 you can see in the small box 
right next to the green tick. We want our initial point to be 100 so I will change it and the last point it shows 100 again when you click it you will see the value. So to make it a curve you go to the point where you want to add your zoom in. My zoom effect is because 2 seconds so I will go right into the middle at 1 second and from here you can add the point. Now the point has added. You can put the value for the point in two way. One, you can click and drag as much as you want the zoom, or you can uh, type the value in the box for the point. Make sure you have clicked that point when you want to add the value. Now you can see it's a curve going from 100 to 300, coming back to 100. Let's adjust the center point to the face of the kid. Now let's preview the video. It looks pretty good this is what we wanted zoom in and zoom out there is one additional thing you can make this zoom in and zoom out more smooth by clicking this curve now you see the curve it's the same points 100 to 300 coming back to 100 and let's see the difference this is for today there are some other templates for every effect that we can uh, discuss in detail for next video. Thank you for watching.